All right, so once you're in the driver's seat area, the very first thing you're gonna do is what's called a safe start. You're gonna make sure the, the gear is in neutral and the parking brake is applied by pulling it out. You're gonna turn the key in the on position and you're gonna wait for the ABS light and all these lights to go out. All right, so we know the bus is ready to safely start. Again, the bus needs to be in neutral. The parking brake needs to be applied and the ABS light and the other warning lights need to go out. Now you're gonna go ahead and start the bus. All right, next you're gonna ask the examiner to go outside and check your front and rear lights. For this, you're gonna want the door closed and you're gonna to wanna to open your window to make sure that you can speak with them or hear any instructions they're giving you. So once they're outside, they'll be standing in front of you. You're gonna start with the lights at the very top of the bus, which are the clearance lights. Using those, you're just gonna turn on your headlights. There you go. All the lights on the gauges light up and everything. You can also see your headlights on in the crossover mirrors. So they're gonna give you a thumbs up. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with your student loading and unloading lights. So you're going to turn your master flasher switch on. And then you're gonna use the steering wheel and you're gonna turn on your amber warning lights with this button. You'll know it's working because there's an indicator here. They're going to give you a thumbs up for those lights. You're going to turn on your reds with this button right here, right below it. You can see in your mirrors that your red lights are on, your stop signs have come out, and you've also got an indicator here. All right. And you're just going to turn this master flasher back off. So now you just have your left turn signal thumbs up for that right turn signal thumbs up for that and then your hazard lights and you get a thumbs up for those working all right so that's your amber warning lights your student loading lights the reds your headlights are working your turn signals are working your uh, four-way flashers or hazard lights are working. The last thing you're gonna do is your bright headlights. You're gonna pull the turn signal towards you. You'll see that little blue indicator come on just like in most cars. All right, so that's all your lights for the front. So now they're walking to the back, you're gonna do the same order again. Your headlights are already on, so your clearance lights up top, on the top of the bus are on. You can turn on your strobe light and you're also gonna turn on that master flasher switch again and you're gonna do the same. You're gonna do your amber warning lights. All right, you're gonna get a thumbs up. You're gonna see that's working as well. Then you do your reds or your student loading lights. You'll see they're working, see them in your mirrors and you'll see the examiner back there giving you a thumbs up. So just turn those back off. Go ahead and turn off the master flasher switch and then we'll move down to the left turn signal, right turn signal, and then hazard lights again. So now we see they're flashing. Now there's no headlights in the back. So what you're gonna do is just lightly tap on the brake pedal. You don't have to push it hard, just tap it a little bit and those brake lights will come on. They'll give you a thumbs up. And one last thing is you're going to, while holding the brake down, you're gonna put it in reverse. You'll hear that beep and they'll see the reverse lights are working. So, all right, they're gonna be coming back up to your door now. You can go ahead and close the window. To open the door, you're gonna hit the door open button. They're gonna climb on and they're more than likely gonna sit here right behind you in this front passenger seat. Go ahead and close the door back. 
as you're doing that, you can let them know my service door is working properly, it's opening safely and closing safely. Now I'm going to start with my air brake test. Alrighty, for the air brake test, you're going to go ahead and turn the engine off. You're going to hear some beeping. That's okay, it's just reminding that your headlights are still on. If you turn the switch off, it stops. Just turn it back on. Put the key back into the on position. So just one click to the right. It'll make that noise go away. So the engine's not running, but now all your gauges are working. So now that all the gauges have synchronized, you're going to begin your air brake test. You're going to press and hold the brake pedal and you're going to release this parking brake. And these needles for your air brakes are going to go down just a little bit. Once they settle in spot, in one spot, you're going to start timing it for one minute. And during that minute, the bus shouldn't lose any more than two, three PSI, which means those needles should stay still. So during this minute, it's going to be awkward silence. So use that time to tell them what you're going to do next. So I'm timing this for a minute. The bus shouldn't lose any more than two, three PSI. After that minute, I'm going to start pumping my brake pedal. As the pressure drops, when it reaches 60 PSI, the low pressure light and alarm should come on. And as I continue to pump down my brakes, between 20 and 40 PSI, this parking brake should pop back out. All right, so it's been a minute. So I'm just gonna start pumping the pedal. Nice, steady, smooth place. You see those needles dropping? There's the low pressure light and alarm. I'm gonna continue pumping the brakes down and we're gonna see that brake pop out. All right, so that's the air brake test. So after you've completed the air brake test, that low pressure light and alarm are gonna be on still. You're gonna perform another safe start to build pressure back up in the air. So again, the bus is in neutral. The parking brake is, is on. The ABS light and all the warning lights have gone out. So now you just start the bus back up. All right. So while that air pressure is building up, we're gonna start going over our switches. So over here are all the driver switches. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the top and work our way all the way down to the bottom. So first, I've got my driver fans. They're working properly, high and low. Turn those both off. So we've got your rear heaters. You can hear back in the back that they're working. Up here, you've got the driver heater. You're just gonna stick your hand down here, make sure it's working. Turn it back off. Then we've got the strobe light is already on from earlier. We've got the driver dome light, which we can see is working properly. Turn that back off. We've got the passenger dome lights, which we can see that they're all working properly. Again, we're gonna do the master flasher switch. Turn that on so our warning lights will work. So again, we're gonna turn on our amber warning lights. And this time we're gonna be describing to them how we're checking these. So first you're gonna see, say you can see them in your crossover mirrors and you've got an indicator here so you know they're working. Next, you've got your reds. 
again you can see them and the mirrors they're all working properly and you've got an indicator here on the dash so we can go ahead and turn that back off we're going to use our red override switch which is just another way to turn on our stop signs and loading lights you can see that stop signs and lights come back on and the indicator there on the dash is on over here is our noise cancellation switch so what you're going to do is just make a little bit of a noise with the driver heater or the fans on once you've made some noise use the noise cancellation switch and it cuts off all ambient noise in the bus that way you can listen for a train or anything else you need to so that's working properly last we're going to set this to defrost we're gonna turn on drive a heater again and you're gonna stick your hand up here say that you can feel the defroster working so that's covered all of our switches from the top down to the bottom all the blues and everything that's air conditioning you don't have to worry about that or this pump just ignore those so that sound is the governor cutting out so we know our air pressure is filled back up so next we're going to go over the gauges now once you're there at your your test these temperature gauges are going to be a little bit more warm but let's start on the left and work our way to the right so this is your transmission temperature the operating range should be between 150 and 170 so you're going to take that first number, 150, and just add 20 to it. 150 and 170. With the, the coolant, it should be between 170 and 190. So again, if you just remember 170, add 20 to it, that's 190. We can see our tachometer is working properly. Our oil pressure should be between 40 and 60 PSI. Our speedometer is reading zero miles per hour. We're not going anywhere, so that's working properly. The battery should be operating between 12 and 14 volts. And the gas tank, you're just gonna read how much gas is in there, three quarters of the tank, half a tank, and say uh, the gas gauge is working properly. We have plenty of fuel for our trip. And our air tanks are full at 120 PSI. And that's it for the gauges. So next, what we're gonna do is operate a few more things from the driver's seat area that we need to inspect in front of them. So, again, we've already showed them all of our lights on the outside, but now you're explaining how you would check them by yourself. So, with our headlights on, you can see our headlights are operating properly in the mirrors, and our gauges have lit up We've got our brights, you can see that they're working in the mirrors, and we've got that indicator there on the dash as well, so we know they're working properly. Left turn signal, I can see it operating in the crossover mirror, we've got the indicator there on the dash. Same with the right turn signal, operating in the mirror, you can see the indicator on the dash. With the hazard lights. Again, you can see them working properly in the mirrors, and you've got those indicators on the dash. Turn those back off. And our windshield wipers. What you're going to do is, on the end of this lever, there's a button. You're just going to push and hold. Your wipers are working properly, as well as the washer fluid. And next, our steering wheel has no more than two inches of play and our horn is working properly so with the beginning of the driver's seat area you're gonna have them go outside and inspect your outside lights they're gonna come back in and you're gonna start with the air brake test and while pressure is building back up you're gonna move to your driver switches then to your gauges then to your other lights, how you're gonna see them operating in the mirror and in the indicators inside the bus. 
windshield wipers, the steering wheel play, and the horn. And you're also going to mention your mirrors. All your mirrors are adjusted to you. In your flat mirrors, you can see the whole side of the bus plus 200 feet behind you. And in the lower convex mirrors, you can see the side of the bus where the tire meets the road and at least one lane of traffic. You've got your student mirror. It's securely mounted to the bus. It's not cracked, broken, or damaged, no loose or missing parts. And I can see the first row of seats behind me and all the way to the back of the bus. So all your mirrors and your seat are adjusted to you.